you are here watching this video because you want to convert your Shopify store to Shopify 2.0 but you need guidance and you need someone to help you out. Or maybe you already started at moving your store to Shopify 2.0 but you are a little bit lost and you need some guidance. In all cases, you are in the right place because in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can convert your store from Shopify to Shopify 2.0 in a very effective way. And in order to make things much more easier for you, I have prepared a written guide that you can follow while working. In this guide, I have included all the steps that you need to take. And for each of these steps, I have included the list of resources that you need in order to get that job done. So I highly recommend you to download this guide. It's free. Just go down to the description and click on the link and download it before starting to work on converting your store to Shopify 2.0. If you are wondering if you should be moving to Shopify 2.0 or if this is something that you can leave for later, I highly recommend you to stop wondering and start taking action. Moving to Shopify 2.0 is a must because all apps, all themes, everything on Shopify is now related to this update. If you want to have a professional store, if you want to have a highly converting Shopify store, you must move to Shopify 2.0. You can't believe how easy it is to work with this new update and you can't believe how many options and features you can now use for free just by moving to this update. And not only that, Shopify is releasing new updates every single week. And if you want to know about all Shopify updates and how you can use them to improve your store, I highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because I always publish videos related to Shopify newest updates and how to profit from them. And now let's get back to our topic. The first thing you must know is that even if you are working on your store, you can keep everything offline until you finish and until you are ready to publish it. So your audience don't need to know that you are working on your new website or on the new design. You can keep everything offline until the moment that you are ready. I've created this video and this guide to help you move your store to Shopify 2.0 by yourself. But if you still feel that you need help and professional guidance, I highly recommend you to go down to the description and to apply to work with me. You will find the link below the services section. I have helped tens of clients to move their source from Shopify to Shopify 2.0 and I have helped them to increase their source conversion rates, their source average order values and thus make more money. So remember, just go down to the description, click on the link and apply to work with me. In this video, I will be mentioning a lot of resources and videos that you must watch in order to be able to convert to Shopify 2.0. And I have linked to all of these videos and resources within the written guide that you have downloaded at the beginning of this video. Your first step in converting your store to Shopify 2.0 is to choose your store theme. Your store theme is very important because it will define your store structure and layout and it will define how your pages will look like and what sections you can include within your pages. That's why I highly recommend you to take your time into choosing the right theme for your store. And there is a video on this YouTube channel that shows you exactly how to do that. Now, if you have already purchased a professional theme for your Shopify store, so most probably this theme has a new update that's suitable with Shopify 2.0. So I highly recommend you to download the newest version of the theme and work with it if it's still applicable for your niche and for your recommendations. If you are using a free theme, I'm sorry to tell you that Shopify free themes were not updated to Shopify 2.0, but instead Shopify released new themes that they are suitable with Shopify 2.0 and you can pick from them. If you want to explore all the different options you have between paid and free themes, I highly recommend you to watch these two videos on this YouTube channel because they will greatly help you to choose the right theme for your store. And now moving to the second step, and it's actually an optional step, it's not required, but I highly recommend you to do it. And it is to create a brand guide. I'm not sure if you already have a brand guide. If you do, thumbs up. If you don't, it's the right moment to create one for your brand. The brand guide is a guide that usually reflects the general feeling and look of a certain brand. And it should include the logos, the color palette, the fonts, and the photo inspirations and stuff like that. I highly recommend you to create a brand guide for your business and to follow this brand guide all through your website. This will help you to present your brand in the best way possible and it will help you to have a very professional store. 
If you don't know much about branding, I highly recommend you to watch this video on this YouTube channel because it will help you to understand what branding is and how you can create your brand guide. Now, once you have your brand guide, you can start with a step number three, and it is to design your homepage. Your store homepage is the most important page on your store because it's the page that will receive most of the visits and it's the page where people will look at in order to understand what your brand and what products you sell and why they should be trusting you. That's why I highly recommend you to put a lot of time and effort into this page. And if you want to know more about how to design your homepage, I highly recommend you to check this video on this YouTube channel because it shows you exactly what sections you should have inside of your homepage. And also I highly recommend you to watch these two videos that will help you to understand how to create your homepage from the technical side of things. So make sure to watch all of these three videos in order to make sure that you are creating an amazing homepage for your store. Once your homepage layout is ready, it's time to rethink your collections or to think your collections from beginning if you are just starting out. Planning your collections in a smart way is very important to help your customers understand what you sell and to help them find what they are searching for. So you can take this slightly. You need to think about your customers, how do they think, what are the things they are interested about, and you need to divide your products into collections that make sense to your customers. Well, if you want to know more about how to plan out your collections and your sub-collections, I highly recommend you to watch this video on this YouTube channel. It will show you how you should be thinking about your collections so you can plan them out in the right way. And also it will show you from the technical side of things how you can create your collection pages using Shopify 2.0. And now once you have planned out your collections and your sub-collections, you can start by creating your navigation menus. And I'm going to talk about the main navigation menu which is the one you find in the header section. Your navigation menu is very important because it will help your customers to move around your store and to explore what you sell. Planning out your collections and designing your navigation menus are very, very related and you might need to go back and forth between them until you have the perfect combination. If you want to know how to create the perfect navigation menus for your store, I highly recommend you to check this video on this YouTube channel because it will greatly help you. And now that you know what collections and sub-collections you want to have in your store, we move on to creating your collection pages. And thanks to Shopify 2.0, now we can design and modify the collection pages in the same way we used to design and modify the homepage. So we can add sections, we can add product grids, and so many other options. If you want to know more about how to design your collection pages, I highly recommend you to recheck this video because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, once your collection pages are done, we move on to your product pages. And again, since you are already redesigning your store, why not do it in the best way possible? So take your time into reconsidering your product photos, your product information, see how you can improve this information, how you can break them down into different tabs or sections, how you can present your products in the best way possible. And if you want to know more about how to create your product pages in Shopify 2.0, I highly recommend you to check this video on this YouTube channel because it will show you exactly how to do that. And not only this, I want to tell you that also I have included in the written guide a lot of resources that will help you to know how you can profit from all the new features that Shopify 2.0 offers in order to make your product pages better and in order to increase their conversion rates. Thank you for watching this video and for staying up until the end. I truly appreciate that. Before leaving, I want to remind you to download the written guide that I have talked about at the beginning of this video. This written guide will help you through the process of converting your store to Shopify 2.0 and it will give you all the resources and all the links that you need to check while you are doing this. And finally, before leaving, I want to invite you to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way, you will get notified each time I publish a new video. See you next week. Bye bye.